Hi everyone, it's Host Loving Hands. I'm sorry for the delay, but Facebook be changing stuff on me and I'll be confused. So I'm going to share it out now. I'm sorry. Hi, Monique, you a pain. You, you was a pain. I love you, but you was a pain. Huh. Facebook be changing stuff and I'll be all confused. Hi, Richie. Happy New Year's. But Monique's a pay. Hello. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. Hello. Hello. Hi, Fifi. Hi. Monique be driving me crazy. I'm sorry it took me so long, but Facebook that changed something and I was all confused and I couldn't figure out how to log on and everything like that. And I'm going to beat Monique up. Let me let me share. Could y'all do me a favor? Share it out for me, please. Share it out for me. Share it out for me. Share it out for me. I'm about to beat Monique up. Who else is in here? Okay, let me share. Share it out. I'm sharing it out. I don't know what happened to everybody. I see people that left. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to put it in the groups. I know, but I, Facebook did something, and I was confused on how to log on, and I had to call my son to come in the room, and he did one thing, and I was on. So that's how that went. I'm sorry for the delay, but that that's how that went. Because I would have been here sooner, but I was confused. I don't want to put it because every all the groups don't be wanting you to do live videos no more. But I'm going to post it in all the groups that I know I can do the live videos. And here go Monique. It's after two. I know it's after two. I'm trying to figure out how to log on. So I'm over here sharing. And she is she she giving me the business. She always try to keep me on point. We not at work no more though, B Modi. We home now. You don't gotta keep me on point. <laughs> okay, I shared it out in a couple of groups. So hopefully we get a couple of people. If not, they watch you on the replay. So I hope y'all miss me. Did y'all miss me? Let me tell you, girl, I've been through so much. I was sick. Then my son was sick. I didn't even get to go to um um Vogue Living Live because it came that time of month. And I'm crazy when it's that time of month, so I didn't even get the chance to go to that. And then, then I said I was going to go on Sunday, and then, like, 3 o'clock in the morning, I hear all this crazy noise in the hallway of my house. Hi, Yolanda. And I wake up, and my son is in the bathroom throwing up his guts in the bathroom. So I was like, I didn't wake up until after 1 o'clock. Hi, Jim. Or hi, Dorita. Until... On, on Sunday. So I said, I'm not going nowhere. I'm just going to stay my butt in the house. But besides that, how everybody doing? How y'all doing? Last night, at like around 3 o'clock in the morning, my patterns went live. So if you don't know, go to my website. I have my Nefertiti scarf. I have my version of the Crochet Kango. I have these earrings. And yeah. And um, I think that's the only three patterns I put up. I think I'm. I think I think that's it that I put up. That's live. I did bundle deals. I did um all my patterns, the the going skiing and all of these in one bundle. And for the people who already have my going skiing, I just did these the three patterns: the the, the um Kango, the earrings, and the um Nefertiti scarf. I did that. Or you could just buy 
the pattern separately. So go to the website that up, click on catalog, and then click on patterns, and they're there. I'm off, also going to be offering a class. I say the start, the class could be next week, what, Tuesday? Next week, Tuesday. Next week, Wednesday. Let's do it Wednesday. Next week, Wednesday at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And I'll teach y'all how to make these. So go get the pattern. And I'll teach you how to make these earrings. This earring is on a 3-inch hoop. And I'll teach you in the class how to make it on the 3-inch hoop. And, on, and you can convert it to a 2-inch hoop. And you also can make it on just the ring, the circular ring, and add the fish hook. So you'll learn all of that in the class. It's going to be over a course of uh, maybe about two or three weeks in the class. Hi, Cheryl. So I'm going to put that class up live this week. The class will be $25. So even if and you don't know how to crochet over an earring, I'll teach you all of that in the class. So please go to the um go to my page. I'm gonna after this live, I'm gonna put the class up live. I didn't put the class up yet, but after the live, I'll put the class up. I already print um wrote it all up. But after the the um the live, I'll put the class up. So I um the last live I did, I said I was going to give y'all some information, so I hope you all have your pens and papers ready so that y'all can get down the information. And I see Yolanda is in the group, and I also told y'all if y'all ready to take your business to the next level, this is 2018, if y'all ready to do crocheting as a business, Yolanda Jordan is a person to reach out to. She's a, also um, a fellow crocheter. She's the um, the founder of My Pretty Brown Doll. The, um, if you're looking for dolls in our complexion to represent our people, nothing against anybody else, but we don't have anything really out there that represents us. And she makes them in all of our complexions. And she also does business consulting. She helped me with my business when I um officially went live after I retired with my business, when I was having issues after I took my website live. And I didn't get any sales for the first two months. I reached out to her because she said she was a business consultant. And she looked over my website. And she told me to make some initial changes. And I did that. And within two days, I went from zero to a substantial amount of money. And if I know she did it for me, she can do it for y'all. And she's very, very reasonable. I told y'all a couple weeks ago to reach out to her when she was having a sale. I don't know if she still have the sale on, but her name is Yolanda Jordan. She's in the group. It's a hook thing. She's on Facebook. She's, like I said, the founder of My Pretty Brown Doll. And she also um, has a vlog called My Crochet Life. And she talks about business in My Crochet Life. So please reach out to her for your business. Um, for um, get your business consultant on. Hi, Nika. How are you? She um, like I said, she helped me very much, and I'm hitting my goal, past my goal. I set a goal for a week, and I hit that, and I've been hitting that in a day now. So please reach out to her. Hi, Yasmin, and definitely. Definitely, if you're looking to in 2018 to make your crochet a business instead of a hobby, she's definitely the person to reach out to. And like I said, she's very reasonable. So I hope you have a pen and paper because I'm going to give you some names and some emails to reach out if you're looking for like lo logo, somebody to make your logo. Anika is on here. Anika Wilkinson, she is the founder of My Kind of Thing, another doll maker who had um, gave me, when I was looking for a logo, she gave me a person to reach out to. Her name is Felicia Whaley. And 
Felicia really helped me with my logo, as you see up there on top. She did my logo. It's the hand with the crocheting hook and the yarn. She did my logo, and she's very reasonable. So her email is Felicia E, the letter E, Whaley at gmail.com. You can reach out to her. She's doing Yasmin's logo right now, and Yasmin has been very pleased. She also did my logo for me and my son's um, um, channel that we're going to be doing on YouTube called Hope and Max React, where we watch videos and we react to the videos. We're going to be doing one after I finish this live, so look out for that. Um, I also had showed y'all my business cards. I think I ran out. No, here we go. Oh, sorry. A young man, his name is Harrison Crite, C-R-I-T-E. He did my business cards, and y'all really had liked them. And his name is Harrison, H-A-R-R-I-S-O-N, Crite, C-R-I-T-E. And his email is Harrison, the letter T. Wait, let me see. Let me make sure. I wrote it down. Harrison. The letter T, Crite, C R I T E, at gmail.com. And he did my business cards, and they're very reasonable. Um, I get 200 for 150 and they don't take that long to get. And I, I find them reasonable for because of the, the transparency. And I have all of my um, social media information on here. I have my website on here, my logo is on here, and my phone number is on here. I like them because they were different. I didn't see anybody really with these cards, and I wanted to stand out from everybody else with my business cards. My logo, I took my logo, and you see my banner above my head. I took that, and I went to Vistaprint. I added the flowers, and I printed up my banner at Vistaprint, like I told y'all. So I have the banner for the wall. I have two of them, one I'll keep here and one I take with me when I go do my vending events. And I also have a standing one that you pull up. Hi, Tammy, how are you that you pull up? Also, I told you I was going to give you some information in regards to marketing your business. Now, the first thing is what I'm doing right now. I'm doing lives. I'm having a social media presence. I'm talking to y'all on social media. Nobody's going to know anything about you if nobody knows who you are. And that's something that I've uh, picked up from Yolanda. So people know, hi, Tanya. People know who I am now because I'm out there and I'm speaking to people and I'm getting my, my, my presence known. People might have known my stuff, but they didn't know what I looked like. Now they see me. Hi, I'm Host Loving Hands. So now they see me. Okay, so you got to get your presents out. You got to get your business cards. You got to get your banner. You got to get your logo. And you have to advertise. And how am I advertising? I have my earrings on. You have to wear your stuff. You have to have your business cards. You have to ask your customers when you sell your stuff if they don't mind sending you a picture. I always ask my customers, when you get your stuff and you put your stuff on, if you don't mind, can you please send me a picture? And if you don't mind, can I post it on my, on my social media? And if they say no, then it's no because that's their, their um, face. And they don't want their face on my social media, then I have to respect their wishes. But if they say go ahead, Hi, D. I'll go ahead and do it. And as you see, I've been posting all last week. I didn't even have to take no pictures because my customers been sending me pictures of them wearing my stuff. A customer with my earring on, a customer with my hat on, a customer with a hat and scarf on. Sending me pictures. And that's how I get my stuff advertised. Ask customers to give me reviews. They give me a review on my Facebook page. They give me a review in my store, my Etsy shop. They give me a review um on my um instagram page and that's another thing you have to have these pages you got to have a facebook an instagram a twitter 
they got Tumblr. They have all these different LinkedIn. I have to get busy with my LinkedIn. I haven't been busy with my LinkedIn. But the LinkedIn pages, you have to do all of that. And where I go, my crochet hook and my crocheting gold everywhere. Bus, train, Uber, Lyft, walking down the street, driving in the car. It goes with me wherever I go. It's with me. So nobody going to know that you do it if you don't have it to show it. And you have to have your business cards ready. Don't be some crocheting and you have your earrings on and somebody said, oh, that's nice. And you go, oh, I made that. And they go, oh, you have a business card. And then you fumbling trying to find your business card. You should have your business card somewhere available where you could pull it out easy and be like, here you go or automatically have it right there next to your crocheting here you go here go my business card please give me a call and order something or please go check out my website i might have something that you would like i know i have matter of fact mike remove mike i know i have something that you would like i know i have something that you would like so i see i don't see her on here um one of the girls in the group, she got her first sale on her Etsy. You got to open up a website. If not, Facebook has the ability now. If you make a Facebook page with all your stuff, you can make it a shop. So now you can make your Facebook page, your fan page, a shop where people could go right on your Facebook page and buy your stuff. I don't know if they charge a fee or not. But probably so, because nothing in the world is free. Where well, you can get some people can buy your stuff right there from your shop. Do not give your stuff away for free. You didn't. The yarn wasn't free. You went to the store and you purchased the yarn, right? So why should you give your stuff away for free? Nobody should be giving their stuff away for free. And nobody should be undervaluing their talent. And everybody should be always learning, 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 because nobody knows everything. I'm taking classes. I'm taking Aniqua's, what's her, the um, baby doll head, the small head classes where you learn how to put the mouth, the hole in the mouth. And I'm taking that. I'm taking the doll classes. I'm always learning. It may not be something I'm making right now, but I'm always learning. And you can't always figure that you want to learn for free. Sometimes you have to spend money. Remember that saying, you got to spend money to make money? You're going to have to spend money sometime to make money. Everything is not free. Don't always be looking for a free pattern. Don't always be looking for a free class. Sometimes you got to spend some money. And you're going to have to get up and get out and start traveling and start meeting other people and making friends with other crocheters, not just in the house. So now we're going to have to start going to other events outside of your state when they're having these events. Now, I was asking um, Jamie. I don't see her in here. I don't know if she joined. It's an event in November. Everybody knows for now on that in January, even if you don't knit, it's still nice to meet other knitters because they just because they knit doesn't mean they don't crochet. A lot of knitters started out crocheting and then they learned knitting or they started knitting and then they learned crochet. So because I started out crocheting and then my mother seen me crocheting and she said, you want to learn how to knit? And she taught me how to knit. Hi, L'Oreal. My mother didn't know. My mother, my mother don't know how to crochet. She know how to knit. My babysitter, when I was young, taught me how to crochet. So that's how that went. So I know how to do a little bit. I know how to do it more crocheting and a little bit of knitting but i'm gonna work on my knitting because i do like how knitting looks so you gotta start getting out so in january put on your calendar in november i believe the tickets start going up in november yes i know how to knit too yeah I had some stuff I sold knitting too when I first started like doing my business. I sold a little knitting stuff, hats and scarves, but I still got to work on it. It's not that great. But um, in November, I believe Vogue Knitting, they start selling the tickets. 
Um, I have to join the crochet guild. I have to, I have filled out the application and never paid for it. I have to join it myself, join the crochet guild because they have an event coming up. Um, and Jamie said it's something coming up in November. So we have to start, let's put in a fund, put maybe five or $10 aside each week so we can start going to these little events and start meeting each other. Okay, because I see the little, the, the doll making group, making people got their little group going on. See, Aniqua said the Crochet Guild has their event in July. So we all need to be going to the Crocheting Guild. The doll making group got their little group going on. So us that don't make dolls, we need to get our little group going on where well, we need to, like, c c um, connect and start going out there and meeting these other people and stuff so it's in oregon in july and you see um the crochet cat um crowd they do something i think it's every february they take a cruise somewhere every february not saying that we got to do every single thing but we need to start doing stuff yeah that's it i'm um, l'oreal stitches and pasadena california that's the one that's in november that, that's the one I think I was talking to Jamie about a few minutes ago. She said she was getting on. I wonder what happened to her. Her and, um, oh, Yasmin is here. But her, she said she, she was getting on. But that's the things that we need to do. So, like I told y'all, I'm going to post um, their information. Oh, and the labels, my labels is all that wood. They're on Etsy. Type it is one word. Type it in, I think, all and that and the the letter a the letter t and the letter w is capital on etsy look for them on etsy i'm gonna put everything in the comments for um for you to have so you'll have the information and they all p reasonable and they all work with you they all take payment partial payments until the the work is completed and then you have to pay it or before they mail the stuff out to you, it, um, except for all that wood. But all that wood is not expensive. Their stuff is like twenty five dollars for fifty or more um, pieces for the labels or something like that. They're not expensive. So, and like um, Yolanda, get in contact with her on Facebook. She's right here. She's available for all of y'all, and she's not expensive. I'm telling you, I don't want to tell her price. Because that's not my place to do. But contact her. Hit her in the inbox. When I tell you she is not expensive, y'all all going to smack yourself in the head and say, why didn't I talk to this lady sooner? Because she's not expensive. She's not expensive. She's not expensive. And I got that, what I paid to her, and way more way more way more and the in the two days and, and not even the two days i told you in two days i made let me tell you when i text her and told her how much i made she was like what way more way more than what I paid her for her cons consultant consultation and for the, the stuff that she told me to get because she told me to get a couple of things and which, which wasn't that much and then she told me to do a couple of things which which wasn't that much the, the things that she told me I went to Amazon so you know Amazon is not that expensive to get Oh, there go Christy. Christy got her first sale on Etsy. Congratulate Christy, everybody. She's in the group. Hi, Christy. When I tell you, she is not expensive and she's worth and she's down to earth. Hi, beautiful lady, too. And she's down to earth with her country accent. I just love. Reach out to the people. We have all the people here. They're all here. We, they're in the group. They're worth talking to. They are worth to you done made two more see them Chrissy and made two more sales. Look at that. And it's you know what too? It's about what I noticed with 
Etsy, and I really don't have the time. It's about the wording and the tags with X with Etsy. It's about the wording and the tag. So reach out to the people, talk to the people that's doing what you want to do, and ask them for help. I don't see anybody that's in our groups between my group and um Jamie's group that won't help. If they helping with crocheting, I'm sure they won't help with giving you advice on business and helping you to help with your I hope people is not inboxing me because I can't answer the inboxes. I can't answer the inboxes. So please just do if you ready to take your business to the next level do the things that i'm telling you to do and just be consistent that's another thing you have to be consistent 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 consistency post every day post every day let me tell you some days i just don't feel like i go through my instagram but i just don't feel like posting nothing some days i didn't even take a picture of nothing I, some days I don't even have nothing to take a picture of. I have to go back and look at something and repost it like it'd be a repost or something and change it around or something or find something that I made that I never took a picture of. But I go and I post, I take the picture and I post it. And like Yolanda told me one thing she told me to do, like set up a day where you just take pictures of everything that you made before you mail it out. And that way you won't have to look to post. But sometimes when you don't make nothing, you don't have nothing to post. But a lot of people, a lot of y'all have stuff sitting at home that y'all didn't sell, that y'all never took a post of, a picture, I mean a picture of, that y'all can take a picture of and post. Go get some mannequins if you can't afford the um the the real the real looking ones go get the styrofoam ones for now go outside and take a picture ask some of your kids ask your neighbor ask your husband ask your wife to take a picture I can't ask my mother because she ain't gonna understand how to use the camera but if your mother's not as old as my mother she'll be eighty four next week next week the twenty whatever day the twenty eighth is she'll be eighty four and if it's next week or the week after she'll be eighty four and she don't understand how to operate the, the camera on the phone. But I went and got the remote with the tripod. So I hold the remote in my hand and I take my own picture. So I don't have to ask nobody to do anything for me. People be looking at me when I be standing on my stoop taking pictures of myself. They be looking at me like I'm crazy. Big on my mother. Mom doing a live. Okay. Buddha. Buddha. Hold on. I got to call my son. My mother went home. Go, go help grandma with the shopping cart. She's outside now. Oh, sorry, y'all. Yeah, so. Y'all got to do what y'all got to do. Because 2018, people going to know who... Hope's loving hands is. So if y'all want people to know whoever y'all calling your page is, y'all better get the start. I want to see more of your pages. I see all of your crocheting. And we got some serious people in our group now. Do you see that girl that make that stuff from the islands? The new girl I just put in the group, you see her stuff? And then Maxine from Trinidad that been in the group. She didn't put up that little bikini thing that looked like a butterfly. Did y'all see her thing? Hi, Lynn. How are you? Happy New Year. Did y'all see her thing? If y'all not in the group, I, and that's another thing. Everybody who's in the group or who went to join the group but I didn't add you yet, I do it every Sunday, and I go through the um, group. If you didn't answer, answer the questions, I'm not adding you to the group because you have to answer the questions, please. So if you didn't answer the questions, please go back, answer the questions, and then if you answer the questions correctly, then I'll add you to the group. Yes, Chrissy, you are in the group. I believe you are in my group. 
the last time I think um it's a hook thing. I believe you in the group. If not, I'll go look and see. If not, look for the group and I'll add you in the group. But I believe you are in the group, Chrissy. I'm glad you heard it, Lynn. So, like I said, I'm going to post the information for the business card. It's Harrison, T as in Tom, Crite, C-R-I-T-E, at gmail.com. For the logos, is Felicia, E as in Edward, Whaley at gmail.com. The logo, see my logo. You saw my business cards. See my business cards. And just tell him Hope Ford sent you. He probably going to say, if you tell Harrison, he probably going to say that one was a pain in my behind. But <laughs> you see how nice my business cards are, right? Because I drove him crazy because first he was doing my logo. And I didn't know what I wanted. And so if I didn't know what I wanted. He, he's not, the, I don't think he's the type of person, if you don't know what you want, to go to him. He needs somebody to already know what they want. That's what Felicia came in. Felicia was the type of person that if you don't know what you want, she works more with you. That's why I didn't recommend him for the logo. So if you don't know what you want, deal with Felicia. If you know what you want and it's already done, Go to to um to um Harrison and just have him do the business cards. The logo is Felicia. She did my logo for my. She gave me a transparent logo. She gave me the regular logo. She gave me a logo for my YouTube channel. When I tell you she's good, she's doing your um Yasmin um McCoy from Designs by Yasmin logo now, and Yasmin is thrilled. I believe she did Anika on um, Wilkinson from My Kind of Thing logo. If I'm not, no, if she didn't do her logo, she did her um her um calendar, her 2018 calendar. If you didn't get that, too bad, so sad. I don't know if she has any more. And the calendar had all her dolls that she made in in the calendar for each month, and it had like a little Black History going on in there. If you didn't get that, I don't know what to tell you. But it, you can ask her if she have any more because it was nice. I have mine, and it's autographed, so I need to tell you. Also, if you came late, like I said, I have my patterns up. The earring pattern is up. My Nefertiti scarf pattern is up. And my version of the Crochet Kango is up. And I did bundle deals. I did my going skiing and all of these patterns and i did just the three patterns that i just missed, mentioned and i'm going to put after this live i'm going to be posting a class to teach you how to do this earring so go ahead and buy the pattern and i'll be posting the class so you can pay for the class i'll the class will be next week wednesday so that'll give you an opportunity to get the supplies so once you sign up for the class, I'll tell you what supplies you need and um yes. That lady that we on Amazon with the other day that said she issued a refund, she lied to us. I was on the phone Amazon just now that she just issued it. What my refund to my thing? Yeah, both our refunds. Oh, your refund was an issue too. She lied to us because the lady on said said she didn't see no refund in this week. Let me tell you, I I didn't been through so much. I'm sorry, y'all. That was my son. I didn't been through so much this week with these people and my and my stuff. Um, like I said, the class. It'll be $25. I'm going to teach you how to crochet over an earring. I'm going to teach you how to crochet this pattern. So you're going to need this pattern. So you have to purchase this pattern because you're going to need this pattern. I'm going to teach you how to crochet on. This is a three inch hoop and I'm going to teach you how to convert it to a two inch hoop. And I'm going to teach you how to crochet it on a um, circle, circular um, earring and add the fish, the fish, um, the fish hook to it. So, and it's going to be over a course of maybe two to two to three, probably three weeks, three to four weeks. So go ahead in the group. I mean, go ahead after this is over and get the pattern and get and sign up for the class. It's going to be worth it. 
because after that class, you're gonna learn. You're gonna know how to crochet over earrings if you don't already know how to. And if you do, you're gonna know how to um, do other things on 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 hoop earrings. So now let me tell you about my drama that I've been posting on my page. If you didn't already see me posting on the page, now I had ordered some stuff from Michaels. So now UPS, not the post office. UPS, the people that wear the brown uniform with the brown. Let me tell you, they didn't do two things. First thing is, now I live in a, a very busy area. It's a, a residential block. And I have a school on my block. It's a junior high school. Well, it's an elementary to junior high. So it goes from element, pre-K, elementary, junior high, because my son used to go to the school. That's how long I lived here. My son is in college. So that's how long I've lived on this block. They came Saturday. Now, Saturday, I was here till like 11.15. But my mother was here all day. And my son, I think he went to work. But my mother was here all day. So I was here like 11.15. So according to, according to their records, they came here at 11.35 and left a package on my porch. I got a bell. And my bell works. But they ain't ring my bell. They just left the package on the porch. So you know what happened to the package, right? Somebody then moseyed on down the street, seen the package sitting on the porch and stole the package. And now, not even that. Now they didn't came back again. I don't know what time for this package. Now we had Sandy in New York, right? A couple of years ago. So I have a pussy willow tree in my front yard. So when Sandy came, it like completely knocked my tree over and broke it. I thought the tree was going to die, but the tree came back. And the when it knocked the tree over, like the branches went through like a little section, maybe about this big. In my screen and my porch, so I don't. It's not like each window have a screen. It's just a piece of the mesh going all the way over. It's like a three window screen, but it's just a piece of mesh going all the way across the the, the window. So you know what they did is a hole in one of the three windows, like a little hole about this big. Now this box is twenty pounds. You know what they did? So the hole is like this big. You know what they did? UPS? Because it says it's from UPS. I mean, it says it came from them. So you know what they did? Instead of ringing the bell, they threw the box through the hole and pulled the whole mess down from all the diagonal windows. Yes, that's what they did. So I, I called them Friday. I'm still waiting for somebody. I called the main UPS. So I'm still waiting for somebody from the neighborhood UPS manager's office to call me. Because if they don't call me, I'm going to call back. Because I want to know who's going to fix that. Because the hole was like this big. Now the whole mesh is gone. So the guy came here today, and he rang the bell because he needed a signature because I ordered from Hobby Lobby, and I ordered a whole bunch of Karen Soft yarn, and I had to sign for it. So I said, one of your guys did that. So he was like, what? So I said, lean back and look at the, the window right there. So he was like, I said, yeah. He said, well, when did that happen? I said, last week Saturday. Okay. Hi, D'Angelo. I'm sorry. The thing's not moving again. Yeah, that you hear me, Tammy? Yeah, yeah, they the worst. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Tanya. Mm-hmm. So he was like, oh, my God. Yeah, oh, my God. And I told the lady when I talked to her on Friday, I said, y'all know who did it. I should sue everybody because who going to fix that? I had a little hole because when the tree fell, it just... And put, you know, and the branches just pushed the hole, a hole through. But now the whole entire mesh thing is gone. 
And I said, Miss, nobody goes on the porch in the wintertime. It's brick. It's, it's wintertime here in New York. I said, my mother didn't go on the porch to get the shopping cart. We wouldn't have known that that box was even in there. We wouldn't even known that the box was there. Because it was somebody here at 11.35. Why they ain't ring the bell? So I put a, a piece of cardboard and I said, ring the bell, it works. Right there. But today I've been having my window all the way up because y'all know I'll be talking about my mother having the heat on a million. And I've been looking out the window and post office always ring the bell because the lady always talks to my mother. But I've been looking out the window. But UPS, they rang the bell today. I guess because he's seen the sign say, ring the bell, it works. But isn't that some craziness? How you take a box and throw it through a little hole and knock the hole? And I told the lady that's not the first time they did that. It's not. And then I told the lady about the guy going up on my neighbor's stoop because I have a gate. And the gate stops a certain point, and they threw. Remember, I told you I got the standing the retractable banner, the retractable one that stands. They threw it over, and when he threw it over, it broke, and I had to call Vista Print. Remember, I told y'all about that? I had to call Vista Print and order a new one. I said, Well, what happened to leaving the note in the box and telling the people you want to come back another day? And then if you you come back that day, and they not there, then they gotta come to the to the to the to the, the main place and pick it up. That, what happened to that? We don't do that no more. Yeah, he probably was the one that did it. I said, this is crazy. This is crazy. I ain't never seen no craziness like this before. No. But what's on everybody hook? Did y'all see? Did y'all see Big Sis Afro Puff? Did y'all see her? Did y'all see her with her eyelashes and her lips? Did y'all see Miss Big Sis? Because I had to get off of that because if not, I'll be sitting here crying because I want to know who's going to pay for my dad on screen to get redone. Did y'all see her? Ain't she just too cute? This is Big Sis, and Big Sis was not having it. Little Sis, here go Little Sis on my keys. Little Sis came home when when school went out. She came home with her big old pink bow hide in her eyes. She came home, and she said that they was picking on her, calling her voodoo doll and all kinds of craziness in school. And Big Sis said, oh, no. So when school starts, she said, oh, no, and she go to charter school, so school started already for her. So she went and got reinforcements. So you remember, y'all remember when I had Blue Puff. Blue, she went, Big Sis went and got Blue Puff, and they went on up to the school. She said, I ain't having, y'all not messing with Little Sis. Y'all is not messing with Little Sis. So they all went up to the school. And they was like, who messing with my sister? They was like, who is it? Because y'all could get these hands. Even though we ain't got <laughs> Y'all could get these hands. So. But y'all see, I got mine on my keys. I usually have this one and this one on my keys. But see, now I got a new one. And I said I was going to get the um fabric paint and put some makeup on the cheeks because this big sis here she grown and she fight kids she don't play she fight kids but ain't she cute look her, her eyelashes and they don't come off they ain't coming off they is there they is not glued on they is not coming off and she's live in my shop right now this is purple ain't that purple pretty this is purple. Too much, right? I love it. It's just too cute. Let me see if it's moving. Yeah, I'm pissed too. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hi, Christy. Hi, Lola. Yeah. 
Yeah, she gonna beat up the UPS guy. Yes. When I when she find out who the UPS guy is, I'm gonna have to put on a, put a camera up there, cause that's crazy. How you destroy somebody's property like that? That's crazy. That's crazy. So. And look, I found I found the chain and everything. So now it officially looks like a keychain. No more crochet. But even that don't look bad. So this is blue puff. Y'all remember when I made this one? A lot of people was like, oh, I like the blue. So now she's live in my shop. This is Big Sis. And I love her. She is a so cute. Thank you. Thank you, Lynn. So. And then we still got little sis here. We still got little sis. And she's on my keys. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put this one on here too so you can see. And I you can put it on your bag. I gotta cut my nails. My nails is too long. Because I can't do nothing. When I go, I'm gonna tell her to cut my nails. So now she on my keys too. And she ain't playing. She got her sister back, front, side, hips, lips, everything. So for now, all of them will come with some lips and stuff. But the the baby, the little ones ain't gonna come with no eyelashes, only the adults. That I think that's just too cute. Yeah, so that's it. And I'm making some other stuff. I'm going to be adding to my shop. But like I said, get your stuff. Let's get this be, these businesses up and rolling. Because it's 2018. And there's no reason for none of us to be broke. You know, since a lot of us is from some shithole countries. This dingy bird that we got in the daggone office. I, I, I just don't understand. I'm from here, and this is just this is shit as whole as everything else. Because if you want to talk about anybody else's country, everything that's going on in other countries is going on right here, too. So then what's the difference? What is the difference? We got homelessness. We got people robbing and stealing. We got people killing here. We we got it all here too. So what is the difference? What's the difference? I can't believe that this man is our president. The pattern for the heads is by Yolanda Jordan. You can go to her um her Etsy shop is my pretty brown doll. Um she has that pattern. It's not my pattern. I, that's what I say too, Christy. He gonna get us all killed. Cause somebody gonna set a bomb. It, it's crazy. It's crazy. I I just don't understand. I I I really don't. I I really don't. I really don't. What headband, Susan? How you doing? What headbands? I don't have any headbands today. Which headband? You want to see which headband? I have some, but you, I don't, give me a minute. I don't know. <laughs> give me a minute. Let me get a headband. Did you want to see a headband or not? Because he go to headbands. Can I fit it over this? Did you 
go my headband. I don't know if you wanted to see the headband or not, or if you was talking about the um the doll. <laughs> but there go my um my keychain. This is Big Sis, and this is Little Miss. So Big Sis and Little Miss, and here go my headband. And the earring, remember I said, for the people who came late, here go my earring. My earring pattern is up. And I will be put, posting the class, the class to make the earring pattern. I mean, to make the earrings, I'll be posting them. And we're going to, um, the, it'll um, be Wednesday, next week, Wednesday. So I give everybody, should give everybody enough time to get the supplies. That's a week. A little over a week if you get to start get the supplies today. You should be able to get the supplies off of Amazon and or or Michaels or whatever, Hobby Lobby or whatever like that. So my earring pat my earring pattern is live and I'll I'm post the um the class for the um to make the earring and I'm teach you how to make this earring. This is on a three inch um hoop. I'll teach you how to make it on a two-inch hoop, and I'll teach you how to make it on the ring. Let me show you the ring. These are the rings. And you will add a fish hook. And these are two inch. So I'll teach you how to make it on these. So let me see. So everybody who have been wanting to learn how to make wanted to make the class is gonna be twenty five dollars. And it's going to be a, over a course of like maybe three or four weeks because I don't want to rush everybody. Okay, give me a minute, Susan, and I'll show you what the fish hook looks like. But um, these are the rings. These are the, um, and this is two inch. These are three inch. And let me show you what the fish hook looks like. Okay, these are earrings on the ring, so these are the fish hooks. Just like on a fish, a fishing, um, a fishing hook, this is what the fish hook look like. So I will show you how to make the earring in a circle like this so that you can put it on these and wear it like this. What'd you say, Christine? Okay, great. So you'll learn how to make it on. This is a two inch. No, is it two? No, that's a three. That's three inch too. That's a three inch. This is a two inch. And this is a three inch. So you learn how to make all those three. You learn how to make it like this. You learn how to make it like this in a circle. So I'm gonna put that live when I get off of here with y'all. But I wanted to give y'all all the information. And for the people who came in late, I was um, talking about marketing your business. I also refer people to Yolanda Jordan for um. For, um, to do a business consult if you already like have an Etsy shop or a website if you already have an Etsy shop and a website um, I refer them to um, Yolanda Jordan she does business consulting and she's very very reasonable when I extremely reasonable because I know other business consultants that charge way 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 more than her but she's very reasonable and I'm referring you to her because I personally use her 
And I got results within two days after she looked at my shop and told me the things to do and I made the changes. I made my money back and way, 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 way more in two days. So I'm referring you to her. I told people to make sure they have a social media presence. Like I'm doing this live now. Um, I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I'm on LinkedIn. I'm not on, I'm on Google Plus. I'm on YouTube. You got to be present on social media for people to know who you are. You got to have, have your business cards. You have to have your logo. You have to have your banners. You have to, so, and you have to start doing crafting events. You have to do vending events. You got to get yourself out there so people know who you are. If your skills are not good, you got to be practicing. You got to be taking classes. You got to spend money to make money. So, if you want this and you want to take it to a business, whatever it is, crochet, knitting, looming, whatever it is, you got to spend money, take classes. A lot of times when I don't, y'all don't see me on the internet, on Facebook or whatever like that, I'm taking a class. I'm, I'm on, on Facebook doing a, a Facebook class and somebody's group on a class. I'm on YouTube on a class. I'm taking a class. I'm learning something new. I'm not always looking for something free on YouTube. I'm spending my money. If it's $25, if it's $50, if it's $100, I put the money aside for my earnings that I make in my shop. It's tax deductible. The class is a tax deductible class if you're making this a business. You could claim all of these things for as a business. The money that you spend on your yarn, it's tax deductible. Put the receipts to the side. Right on the receipt, your um, business supplies. And I have an envelope for my receipt. I've been doing this for years, for years. And I write business receipts. Whatever coffee I spend to go get my yarn, I drive, I take an Uber, I take a Lyft, whatever. I go, when I go print out my receipts, all of that is going to be business deductible. Like a lot of y'all know, I told you I also do multi-level marketing. When I go to meetings for the multi-level marketing, when I sit down with people in regards to talking to them about joining the business or becoming a customer for my business, that's all tax deductible. Now I'm sitting here and I'm talking to y'all. I'm using electricity in regards to talking to y'all about business. That's tax. Part of that is tax deductible. A part of my mortgage, because I use my home as my business, is tax deductible. It's all tax deductible. So, it's good even if you have a job. I've been doing this since I was working. It's just I wasn't hard bodying. So, it's good even if you have a job to have a home-based business. Whatever it is. I'm not saying it got to be crocheting. I'm not saying it got to be knitting. Whatever it is, what your passion is, start doing your passion now so when you retire, your passion, you didn't develop it into a business. So once you retire, it's already thriving and you don't have to be putting in so much hard work to get it to where you want it to be. Start it now. For the people that don't have jobs, maybe they're at home moms or they have a disability and they can't work and they do something that they love doing. If it's cooking, if it's babysitting, whatever. This is a great way to get more um more on um, business. This is a great way. This is a great way. Everything a lot of stuff that we used to do is becoming obsolete and social media is becoming the thing to do. You look at all the big businesses now, they're not spending a lot of money so much on advertising on TV. I'm pointing up there because my TV is that way. On advertising on TV. They're more on social media now. They're more advertising little things on social media now. They're on, they're on Instagram, they're on Facebook. Every time you turn around, it's a Facebook advertisement. So this is the way to go. This is the way to go. So 
please, if you like my video, please click the like button. Please share it. If you like my page, please like it and follow it. I'm going to be giving more information. I'm going to be crocheting. I'm going to get crochet tips for free. Everything is not... And y'all know I'm sitting here now and I'm giving y'all stuff for free. I could be charging. Hi, Vivette. Hi, sweetie. I could be charging for this. I'm not charging for that. You said if you put your logo on your car, you can also write off it. Exactly, you can. And I have that thing for my multi-level marketing. I purchased it because my multi-level marketing, they offer stuff you can buy. It's a magnet thing that stick on the side of your car with your name of your business and your phone number. And it says, ask me how. And I had, and you know what somebody did? They stole it off my car. What they going to do with it, I have no idea. Let me tell you, I go through some crazy stuff. But they stole the thing off my car. Yes, they did. But I had two, so I had another one. I be going through some stuff. I tell you, the devil is always busy around here, but God loves this child. Hmm. So the devil could keep on, but the God got another another something to say over here. So yes, <laughs> the answer it be something, but God got another answer for him. So the devil could keep on trying because God is always ten steps ahead, ten steps ahead. So yes, yeah, so I will, like I said. I will be offering the class to learn how to crochet this earring. My pattern is up, up live now. The class will be up live as soon as I finish this board class. Please like my page, Hope's Loving Hands. Please share this video, Hope's Loving Hands. Please share, um, um, follow my page. Share my page, too, and invite your friends over to my page. I'll be offering more information. The next video, I'm going to try to do a video tomorrow. We're going to crochet tomorrow. We're going to crochet. We're going to just talk and crochet. We're not going to talk about business. We're not going to talk about UPS, USPS. We ain't going to talk about none of them crazy people. We ain't going to deal with them. That's all said and done. We're going to leave that in the past, and we're going to move forward to the future. We ain't going to deal with them people. Like that. So I want y'all to have a good day. I hope I gave y'all some good information. I will be giving y'all all the stuff. I will be putting all the information down. In the bottom for the logo, the business cards, and the um, the um, the labels. I'll put all that information down in the comments, and I'll pin it so y'all have it. And I see y'all tomorrow around the same time, around one, around two o'clock the same time. Now I know what I'm doing because, like I said yesterday, face um, I mean earlier, Facebook changed stuff, and I didn't know what was mess was going on, but I know what I'm doing now. Okay, so I'll see y'all tomorrow. Have a good one. Host Loving Hands. Oh, go, go, go over to Instagram and like my Instagram page, Host Loving Hands. Go to my YouTube channel, like my YouTube channel, Host Loving Hands. And, and come over here on Facebook if you crochet or knit or loom or something and join us in the Facebook group. It's a hook thing. It's a hook thing. I'll put that in the information too. It's a hook thing. Come see us. Come become part of our group. You're going to crochet my earring. You're going to learn how to make my earrings. And remember, also, too, I made a package. I posted the earring, the Nefertiti scarf, and um, my version of the crochet kango. Please go purchase it. Help the sister out. I'm retired now. I need all the funds. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Love y'all all. Bye. Hope's loving hands. Talk to y'all tomorrow. Good night.